Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, with some important information. If you use an antenna for local TV channels and are either considering installing solar panels on your home, or if wind turbines are being built in your area by a power company, both can negatively impact TV reception to the point that it's no longer reliable. I'll first address solar panels. A common question I'm asked is, do they interfere with TV reception if installed on the roof of a house? The answer is yes, but only if the antenna is installed in the attic directly behind the solar panels or really close to them outside. As long as the antenna isn't basically touching a solar panel outside or behind one in the attic, there shouldn't be any issues. On the other hand, wind turbines set up in an area by a power company can ruin TV reception for a whole town. If in the direct path of the broadcast towers, they basically chop up the signals like knives. Even if they aren't in the direct path, they can still cause issues through changing reflective signals. In my area, the borough of Weimar actually required the power company to set up broadcast repeaters of all local TV stations in the area so that antenna viewers were not negatively impacted. However, most areas are not this lucky as antenna TV reception isn't usually taken into consideration when wind turbines are built. If you hear that your local power company plans to put up some wind turbines in your area, make sure that you attend the public meetings and express your concern about how it will impact free over-the-air TV reception in your area. If enough concern is put on record, the power company might be required to set up broadcast repeater signals so antenna viewers are not negatively impacted. There are plenty of documents online that explain how wind turbines impact TV reception, which I included in the description of the video. If there already are wind turbines in your area, or if your local channels just cut in and out frequently currently, upgrading to a larger antenna or an ATSC 3.0 tuner might solve the problem. I include a link to some recommended antennas along with a cheaper ATSC 3.0 tuner in the description of the video. You can also sign up for my antenna recommendation service on my website, antennamanpa.com. Thanks to all these fine folks who support me on Patreon or are members of the YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, visit patreon.com forward slash antennaman, click the join button this video, and you can also click the thanks button. Thank you all for your continued support of the Antenna Man YouTube channel over the years, and stay tuned for some major changes coming to it.